Today I would like to explore our advanced scheduling tool with you. The advanced scheduling tool will give you additional power and flexibility when it comes to meeting your more complex scheduling needs. Schedules can be automatically generated based on your organization's unique requirements to help control your labor costs, minimize compliance risk, and improve productivity. Today we will take a look at how you can auto-create and maintain schedules based upon your business needs. We will cover our advanced rules engine, which will help prevent you from overstaffing or understaffing shifts and reduce excessive overtime. And we will also talk about how this tool will help you budget properly using our labor cost estimation tool. That being said, let's take a look at how we can set up and manage a schedule. You can see we have a start menu enabled which provides easier navigation to different scheduling items that will help with developing and maintaining a schedule. From here you have the ability to manage schedule rules, view and edit the schedule, and view the schedule settings. We are going to focus on creating a schedule today. Here we have a screen that is showing us all of the schedules that have been created for this company. You can set up separate schedules across different departments, however, in my example, we are just looking at one schedule across the entire company. Our scheduling manager, Kathy, needs to set up a new schedule for an upcoming week. To do this, she will click on the Add New button. First, she needs to identify the schedule that she will be building. Then she needs to identify the date for this schedule. Here you can see the dates for this schedule. In this case, we are looking at a weekly schedule, but you can define the cycle length in the schedule configuration settings. Within each schedule, you can also assign the manager responsible for managing this schedule. In other words, the manager who can assign shifts, make edits, etc. You can also define which employees are going to be displayed within this schedule. These settings are initially set up in each employee's record and will carry over into each planner. You also have the ability to create schedule templates and import open shifts into the schedule. Creating predefined templates will allow you to schedule your employees using our advanced scheduling rules to help prevent you from overstaffing or understaffing shifts. This provides for easier schedule management as open shifts will be predefined for you to assign out to your employees. In our example, Kathy has already created a workload template that we will be using to assign to the employees. Now we can see that all of our shifts have been identified based on the template that was imported and are color-coded for easy identification. Kathy will need to generate the open shifts for coverage. This will assign the open shifts to the schedule so Kathy can fill those openings. Kathy can assign the open shifts manually from scratch, but she can also auto-assign the shifts to help save time so she can focus on more strategic priorities. Let's take a look. This action of auto-assigning shifts does take a couple of minutes to populate out the schedule. During this process, it is looking at each employee's availability, what skills they have, and the cost centers they can work in. In addition, it also looks back to our advanced scheduling rules. These rules will ensure there are not any scheduling violations. The rules can be configured based on your specific business needs. For example, you can set up rules based on the number of hours worked per day or per week. This will prevent an employee from being scheduled into an overtime situation. You can also set up a rule based on their work time availability to prevent an employee from being scheduled on their preferred time off. Once the shifts have been automatically assigned, Kathy can access the fully populated schedule. Let's take a look at the View by Employee. This is where we can review the schedule and make edits as necessary. This is really where we're going to be spending the majority of our time today. Before we get to work on this planner, I want to quickly show you a couple of the other scheduling views. This is a view of the schedule broken down by cost center. This report can be beneficial to ensure that there aren't any gaps in coverage within any given cost center. Each shift is color coded and the solid colors indicate that the shift has been filled. We can also get a breakout of the schedule by day. You have the ability to collapse the rows to get a nicer view. 
As you can see, this grouped the schedule by cost center to get a better breakdown of the schedule by employee in each cost center per day. You also have the option of printing your schedule. Let's take a look at an example. Once posted, this schedule can be printed in this format and posted on site. Now let's jump back to our view by employee. While this schedule has been auto-populated for Kathy, she still may want to review it and make edits before posting this schedule for her employees. On the right-hand side of this screen, you have the ability to view this as a full screen version, which just allows you to have more real estate to see the schedule. In this example, let's say that Kathy needs to add an additional shift. To add a new shift, Kathy can click in the white Open Shifts box here above the schedule. She can now identify when she would like the shift to be worked and what job she is creating. We are just going to enter in the required information to get this shift created. Now we can see the open shifts we just created here at the top of the screen. To assign the shift, Kathy can use the call list to see who is available to take this new shift. As you can see, when we click on the shift, we have the ability to delete the shift. We can assign or unassign an employee from a shift. We can add a note, and we can also edit the shift. Editing the shift allows you to change the times, assign the shift to a different cost center or job, etc. Kathy can also utilize a call list here which will help in assigning shifts to employees based on their seniority, skill set, and number of scheduled hours for the week. Now Kathy can see a list of who's available to take the shift. That list is considering all of your scheduling rules to prevent any sort of violations. If we click on the Qualification Summaries icon, here we can see an example of how the system filters out any employees that do not qualify for a shift based on your scheduling rules. For example, the shift may violate the maximum hours per day, or maybe the employee does not have the correct skill. Now we can see that shift has been assigned to the employee. Now let's say that Kathy wants to swap shifts between two employees. To do a shift swap, you can use your control key to select both shifts you would like to swap. Once the shifts are selected, then you can click on the open shift to edit the option. And now you have the option to swap the selected shifts. Now here on the schedule, we can see the changes that just took place. As Kathy is making manual changes on the schedule, she could trigger a scheduling violation. A constraint violation looks a little different than a normal shift. It is represented by a thinner red line. Violations can be set up for a variety of reasons. Perhaps a shift will put an employee into a weekly overtime situation. A violation can also be triggered if the employee does not have the appropriate skill set or is not qualified to work in that cost center. If there is a scheduling violation, Kathy will need to determine how to address it. Depending on the type of violation, she can unassign the employee and assign the shift to another individual, or she has the ability to override that constraint if applicable. Another benefit of using the advanced scheduling tool is that you have the ability to control labor costs. You can estimate the scheduled labor costs when you use the scheduler module in conjunction with timekeeping. This tool will run the employees through the pay calculations profile based on their scheduled time to determine the estimated pay for that week. During your schedule setup, you can identify a maximum budget for this schedule. You can also set up a constraint that will flag if you exceed that budgeted amount. This allows you to make informed scheduling decisions that take into account the budgeting constraints. 
Once Kathy has filled all open shifts and reviewed any scheduling constraints, then the schedule should be ready to be posted. Kathy can then post that schedule and this will kick off a workflow approval process. You can define who is responsible for putting the final stamp of approval on this schedule before it's pushed out to the employees. If a change needs to be made after a schedule has been posted, the schedule can be edited right from the schedule itself and the changes will be pushed back to the employee. Keep in mind that as edits are being made to a schedule, changes are being tracked in an audit trail. The audit trail will display any modifications made to the schedule. You will be able to determine who made the change, when the change was made, the old value versus the new value, and which IP address the change was made from. After the schedule has been posted, the system will update the schedules for the employees to view within their employee self-service portal. An email notification can also be configured to go out to alert users that their schedule is ready to be viewed. Let's take a look at how an employee can access their schedule. Employees can access their schedule from anywhere using a computer or a mobile device. If an employee wants to quickly see when they are scheduled to work, they can view their schedule within their employee self-service portal. Let's take a look. If we navigate under the My Account, My Schedule menu option, here an employee can see when and where they are scheduled to work. They also have the ability to sync their upcoming schedule to their calendar. This gives them everything they need to make sure that they are at work in the right place at the right time. And with that, we have completed our demo. I hope that you will leave here today with a better understanding of how you can use this tool to schedule your employees using our advanced rules engine to help prevent you from overstaffing or understaffing shifts, reduce excessive overtime, and budget more efficiently using our labor cost estimation tool. Thank you for your time, and please contact us today for more information.